Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2, and this episode is special, because, uh, it's post-commentary, because for some odd reason, it did the commentary for the live, so, yeah, don't know what's going on, but, uh, we're going oh, to here. Disney Castle, so, uh, this will be fun. Yeah. This is your castle. Must be nice to be home, huh? Well? You know, something just don't feel quite right. Why? <laughs> You're back! Move it! Let's go! Queen Minnie needs to see you! The castle's in danger! Hurry to the library! So... This is the first time that Disney Castle is really a thing. Like, we saw it in Kingdom Hearts 1 for very, about two very seconds. beginning, when Donald and Goofy were there before they went on their trip to find Sora. Yep, we have Chip and Dale hanging out in the hangar. Yeah, Chip and Dale are here. Uh, voice acted by a woman! Someone actually posted uh, a couple of the voice actors for this game, and there's a huge list of people. Um, and we have the courtyard for Disney Castle. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of really impressive voice actors, and a lot of people who... I really like the intro for this one. Yes, I like it's the cute. E uh, in yes. the... Yes, the E in the Mickey head. Yes. All right, there are lots of treasure chests in this area. Yes, it, and it starts off with ominous music. We are... Originally, I thought there were six, but it just turns out I just can't count, and there are seven. There, so. are, there are seven, <laughs> and there are new Heartless... <laughs> There's little bomb thing. The, uh, the shadows and the soldiers, and then there's little bomb bastards. You hit them, and then they have a countdown, and they explode right in your face. Uh, like they just did. They kind of hurt too. And this is a place where they will, they just keep coming. They will just yep. keep spawning. Uh, but there are in fact seven treasure chests. We just got the first one. They're all on these wonderful little topiaries, which are. Kind of creepy in their own way, I guess. Why are they creepy? Uh, they're playing. I mean, the they're... castle one is a little bit creepy. And the uh, bear. It's, it's a bear playing an instrument. They're all a little. Dude, you've never been to Disney World. Just I, hush. I have not. I have not. This is. It's like the bear jamboree thing at Disney World. They all play instruments. These big, giant animatronic bears. I. Okay. It's a little bit creepy, I have to be honest. I, I will say, I was a little creeped out by the animatronic animals at, like, Chuck E. Cheese, so yeah. They're, they're slightly better animatronics than you see at Chuck E. Cheese, though. They're not that cheap. They're obviously better made than the ones at Chuck E. Cheese. Well, I would hope so, because it's Disney. So. And there's that seventh treasure chest that I can't count for. Yeah, at first it was, there's six! <laughs> And it was like, hey, there's another one over there. Oh, excuse me, seven. I can't count. And see, I, That's I'd the never, countdown. Yeah, I'd never noticed the countdown until just then. I'm like, oh, shit, they count down. Anything with a countdown is usually bad. Although this is a really good place to level up. Yes, um, I do level up the drive form here. Uh, I don't level up the drive form. You I don't level, level it, but you... But I do use it to get it some yeah. experience, because... Uh, I... And to be more specific, it's technically the Valor form. The Valor form. Because uh, each form has its own level. Uh, but it... I get into the habit in games like this where I don't want to use the special attack, because... You know, I might need it for a boss. It's like the the elixir syndrome. Oh, I don't want to use this yeah. elixir because I might need it for a boss fight. And then you get to the end boss and you've got like 99 elixirs. And, and you, you still use them. maybe one of them. Yeah. And I got I got juggled by bombs. Like how freaky is that? Donald helped a lot there. Yes. You did level. You did level, but not the uh, valor. But you did get some experience for it. So. Yeah. Be sure to, to use the drive form just when you can. Uh, Donald's dead. Donald's dead, but you get near, and you cast Cure, and Cure being AoE now, everyone's good. 
I, I do like the cure's AoE. That's yeah. kind of helpful. That's much better. Shadows. Shadows everywhere in this hall. I think they're never ending. Yeah. So I I I, I, kill I mean a I think they're I'm like, just, like, like I'm this. This just I'm not getting anywhere with this other than free XP because they're shadows. And shadows are really just kind of free XP. But we have a giant door here that has a uh, Mickey crest seal. Obviously can't get in, and a whole bunch of shadows that we're just saying, screw you. They just keep popping up every time we take a step. Yeah. More of them show up. And we're here at the library! And Queen Minnie! Your Majesty, Queen Minnie, we're back! You're here! Your Royal Highness, did you happen to summon us? Yes. Where's the king? Excuse him, this is our friend Sora. <gasps> Sora! The king told me all about you in his letters. He said you're a very brave young man. So, do you know where he is? What your heartless doing in your castle? Oh my, so those are the heartless. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. I know I can count on you, Sora. Now there's something I'd like all of you to come and see. Would you please escort me to the audience chamber? What? <laughs> to warn everyone else in the castle about the danger. We must be sure they're hidden somewhere safe. Okay, we'll go tell them. The whole castle? We just gotta split up, Donald. I'll make sure that everyone knows what's going on. No, Sora, you just get lost. Okay, then I'll stay with the Queen. Good. Alrighty then, see you later. Um, the audience chamber, right, ma'am? Yes, Sora. Let's be on our way. Yes, in hindsight, it makes no sense to send Sora off, because he's never been to Disney Castle. He would just get lost. But Also, did he just call Minnie Ma'am? Yes. Hey, look! Thunder! Yes, we have Thunder! I don't use Thunder. But I show off that we have a new customization. And some new, new items. items. Hero's Crest, new Keyblade. That... Really kinda hurts your in game. <laughs> but uh it Kinda? Yeah. It it hurts. It hurts your in game. But um we need to do a little bit more damage. I'm I've been using the keyblade now for a couple of worlds the the standard kingdom key for a couple of worlds. And it gives an air combo boost. Yeah. Like they are really really particular about Keyblade advancement in this game. So, uh... Okay. And we get... Torn pages! Torn pages! So now we have some pages that we can put back in, uh... We need a Pooh's book. Save point. Save, save point. early. Save, save often. Our, save early. Save often. That's, that's the motto. That, around here. That is the motto, but it kind of sucks when, uh... Your audio gets eaten and you can't yeah. go back and record live commentary. Well, that's why there's more than one safe spot. Yes, that is why. Uh, and we also have a couple of new items. Divine Bandana, which is basically just defensive 2. Dark Anklet, which is defensive 2 and dark resist of 20%. Um, I do go ahead and buy a dark... Or a uh, Divine, Divine Bandana. bandana. Uh, for Sora. I'm not sure why you didn't buy the dark thingy, but because it would have been a little bit better, but... It's also a hundred money more, and we've only got, like, 1,300, yeah. so, I mean, we're not swimming in money right Fair now. Fair point. That 20% that dark resist doesn't seem all that useful for yeah. the moment. Uh, the new recipe we have allows us to make elixirs, so Yay. we can make elixirs... Early. Of course, you gotta have everything you Yeah, you gotta have make materials. It. I, the, the crafting system for this game is a little... Wonky. Wonky like that. Like, oh, we're going to tell you how to make something. Oh, you can't because you don't have the materials to do so, and you won't for a while. And he can't talk because he doesn't have a face. And, yeah, the, the broom doesn't have a face. I don't know why they're like, oh, he's too busy to talk to you. He doesn't have a mouth. 
Alright, so we have an escort mission here. Uh, Queen Mini has a damage gauge. If it fills up, you lose. You have to use the reaction command to call her over. Uh, but she actually has an attack of her own. She does have an attack. She also has a reaction command that you do. Yeah, she has a reaction command her. that's actually quite badass. So, uh, what you should do is the opposite still of what I It's still a very slow doing. process, though. Uh, if you call her over like uh, I have been doing before the enemies spawn, use her reaction command to blast them away, or you can just run ahead, kill everything, and then call her over and, like... She gets freaked out that you left her behind. Yeah, if you go too far away from her, she'll be like, wait for me, and she'll get freaked out, and she won't do anything, so she won't actually defend herself should the, uh, the Heartless get too close to her like that. So, you do kind of want to be careful about it. See, she calls out, wait, if we get too far. That's also to let you know that she is outside the range of the reaction command, so you cannot call her over. You've got to move yep. a little bit closer to her for her to... This way. She doesn't go as far as you do. Yeah. But all you have to do is make it to the door and use the finish command, and she will break the barrier, and you get to proceed. Just one moment. As soon as the trouble started, I made sure to seal this room. <laughs> now then, shall we? That door still cracks me up. Yeah, I love the giant door, little tiny door for him. Like, that's... that's adorable. That's... that's Disney for you. Alright, so... Alright, let's do this! We go inside? And there's the throne and those things. Not here too. I got him. Yeah, we're gonna there's... speed this up for you because this is a well, little. Well, no, I, I was gonna go ahead and speed it up, but now that we're doing post commentary, we can just talk all the way through it and not because I was gonna speed it up because we were kind of distracted. Um, I this does kind of take, take a forever. While, yeah, but um. I also don't really uh, do it the way it should be done. I mean, you can go on and go ahead and attack them and... Or, the whole thing is to not actually defeat them. You you don't have to defeat all of them. The, the purpose is to get Minnie to the throne. I don't really think they anticipate anyone actually defeating everything here. We do it anyway. But I don't think the plan was to do that because they're the we just wanted the, the money. Uh, yeah, I just wanted money because these things drop uh, two fairly large money chunks a kill. Uh, what they expect you to do for this is to just you know sneak through, use the faith command to blast them away, sneak through, blast them away, sneak through, blast them away, etc. I just let them come to me and then blast them all to hell. And then run and grab the money, and, and then, then run go and back and do money. it all over again. Let's go. See, it's it's kind of effective, and it's XP. Yes. But they they really did not expect you to do this, and we were joking around about um, speeding up and using the jaws, jaws theme, theme. <laughs> because they move so slowly. <laughs> it's like that it's it's kind of like ominous. the shark fin. Yeah. Da dun. Da dun. Dun 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 What's really great is the last escort mission, while we were playing it, when one of the giant things popped up, we were like, oh, holy shit, it's a really yeah. giant Yeah, oh my god! Things. And then we walk into this room and we're like, Jesus uh, Christ! They're everywhere! Jesus Christ, it's a lion, get in the car! <laughs> but, seeing as how we're doing post-commentary, the cutscene that happens after this is what gives us the clue that they don't really have to all be beaten. you to kill everything. It's Possible, obviously, but I don't really think that was the intent of the, the designers to to kill everything like what we're doing. But it said in the guide, the the we have the, the collector's edition guide. It says, "Hey, just sit there, spam faith, have fun, free XP." So it says and you can. Money. It does straight up tell you that you can beat everything in this room without ever moving. Yeah. <laughs> so we put that to the test. 
That was kind of what I was going for, actually. Yeah. Let's go. I did kind of want to see how close I could get them all together. Um, I, I do have, uh, I had that tendency, like, when I was farming in Curse of Darkness, I want to see how many bad guys I can get together in one shot with one hit. Yeah. I do the same thing here. It's like, how many of them can I hit with this? And then by the end, I just said, screw it. There's, like, three left. But that last one seems to be stuck with that attack, and I could not actually target him to start. Because he was just flipping upside down, and it would not let me yeah. do anything. But now that everything's dead... Now that everything's dead, we have to get her to the throne. Now, this is one part that I still kind of wanted to speed up, but I'm, I'm not going to. Just because it's, it's funny watching her, her run. <laughs> Because she's so short. This way. It reminds me of the Taru Tarus from Final Fantasy I 11. hate you so much. This way. You're not that short. No. No. But she's like, she's literally half Sora's size. <laughs> Even with that giant mouse, like, dead mouse head of hers. This way. I think she might have started it, sweetie. Yes. Pretty sure she was around before dead mouse was. And we get an accessory sought and auto summon automatically for completing this task. Yay! Come on, give me a break. The room below is called the Hall of the Cornerstone. Our castle has always been safe from worlds that are evil. Thanks to the Cornerstone of Light, which we keep down there. The Cornerstone of Light? That's the scene that makes me believe that they just intended for you to sneak to the throne because the enemies are all still there and you yeah. get a weapon of mass light destruction under, you know, the throne. This is the castle's cherished cornerstone. Oh, but look. The thorns, they must be the work of someone very evil. I wonder what this could mean. Okay, I'm sorry, but that doesn't look like a cornerstone to me. That looks very round. Magnificent! <gasps> no way. Well, well, well. What have we here? If it isn't the wretched Keyblade holder and his pitiful lackeys. All in good time. I promise you'll be able to partake of my vengeance, but you must be patient. Just what are you doing here, Maleficent? Ah, Queen Minnie. Radiant as always. I'm here on a property venture. I want this castle for my own. However, it's a bit too bright for what I have in mind. I suppose I'll just have to fill every room with my personal touch of darkness. You'd better stop right now if you know what's good for you. Ooh, how frightening. Very well, I'll stop. Just as soon as the castle belongs to me. <laughs> what a hag. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I looked through all the records in the library, but I couldn't find a single clue. Oh, huh? We should go ask somebody who knows lots of stuff that ain't in any book. Yes, that's perfect. Merlin just might know something about this mess. Let's ask his advice. We saw him and Hollow Bastion, right? Yeah, let's go. Say it. Haglet. <laughs> no, I said she's a haglet. You said she's a full-blown hag. <laughs> so we have auto-summon, which we could use, but um, I haven't even shown off the summon that we've got. Again, we got Chicken Little. the difference... Uh, 
between haglet, haglet and, and hag, hag is, is like piglet, piglet and, and pig. pig. <laughs> but that actually has a different meaning here because piglet in this game is adorable. He's still a baby pig, though. He's still a, he is still a baby pig. And torn pages, which maybe they might take us to piglet. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows who we'll find. So, uh, yeah. Maleficent's a hag. She's a, a total bitch. And uh, she's trying to take over the castle. So we're going to go get Merlin and a hollow bastion. And, uh, and stop uh, that, hopefully. Stop that, because uh, she's a bitch. And not going to fly. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and end this episode here. We're, we're pretty much about done. Yep. And, it's saving, uh, so. Yeah, it's saving, and we'll see you guys in the next installment. So, till then, later, everyone.